Welcome back to the Hub City Halloween Open in Spartanburg, South Carolina, presented by the Great Courses of South Carolina. I'm AJ Carey. And I'm Luke Sampson. And we're coming at you live. Ace from Pro, thank you very much. We're at Tiger River. This is round two, back nine. Yeah, we got uh, this stellar lead card here. You watch them on the front nine. They're doing pretty darn good. C. Dick leading the pack, 12 down. Noah and Corey, 10 down. And Zach Melton at eight down. So, Chris Dickerson again. Great Tennessee, Prodigy Discs, currently in the lead. Yeah, he's playing stellar out here. Getting all the muskets, getting and not messing up elsewhere. Corey Ellis, Discraft sponsor. He throws far, he makes long putts. So he's tied up at second. Zach Melton, Kingsport, Tennessee, Dynamic Disc sponsored left hander. He's sitting at what, seven eight, to eight, eight down. Eight, yeah, eight he's down. having a, a couple putting woes today, but that's okay. He's got a lot of golf in front of him. Yep. Noah Five Ash, Asheville native. Great disc golfer, been on the road. This is his first year on the road, and he's put together a good first 18 at Pipeline, and here he is playing at yeah, Spartanburg. So. Noah's tied up at second with yeah, the Corey. With Corey. Uh, we are at hole 10 here, par 4, 568 feet. Lots of OB. This tree line on the right is an OB line. You can see the painted line as we go by. Uh, the left side also has a painted line. You know, you have all these trees that act as a bunker in between the landing zone and the basket. So you're going to see a shot, shot through a gap first, and then probably four shots over the top. Yeah, you don't want to get too far, actually, off the tee if you're going to go for the over-the-top second shot because those trees do come and play long. This, I, this I, is a new tee pad for this year, so... We might see a lot of low shots now. Yeah, that's what I thought the best play was, a low shot. Chris catching a little of that foliage on the right side. Looked like he kicked straight down inbounds. The the out of bounds doesn't start till after that tree right there. Corey lining up a little looks like what to be a Zeus. I have a feeling he's gonna blast this one. Higher route and got through it though. Hey, caught caught it and it probably checked it up a little bit. Uh, I'm with you, Luke. I like to be shorter on this one, just around it. It actually gives you separation off that second set of trees. Yeah, Corey might be a little pinched from where he landed there. Zach throwing a great shot. Yep. yep you Zach. can see Zach's pushing that, that first set. He so, got out there. He got yeah, he got far. He got a distance for sure. Uh, the boy could throw a forehand. Yeah. Uh, I personally, I'm playing short of that, so I don't have it going over it, but... When you go that far, you might as well. Noah keeping it really low, overstable. That looked like to be his gateway spirit. Very One of the first overstable distance drivers in creation. So yeah. he's in that nice short spot we were talking about. We like that in the center. Yeah. Uh, Chris has got a – he might need to actually turn something up here so to get the distance, but he might be able to play just a simple hyzer. Oh, he's kind of on the outside here, so he's got to be over these trees. Oh, he's playing it all over the out-of-bounds. Ooh, Caught that, the last tree and yeah, out of an, bounds. That's an out of bounds. That's going to be a stroke and distance error right there. Yep. He's yeah, only he, go he didn't come back in bounds at all. Nope. He only got to progress a good 20 feet there. And yep. he's going to go for the hyzer again. So he's shooting one, two, and three out, shooting four from here. Yeah, this is a change they did this year by uh, making the OB line off of the trees. In the past, it was the center of the trees where that would have at least gave him the distance up there. So if he makes that 50-foot putt, he'll save bogey. Man, he might be giving up the lead here on this one. Noah throwing a high shot, just like we were saying, and that is wow. nearly an eagle. Yeah, that was uh, his Moab. So, Great shot, Noah. Well, that would give him a chance for a birdie there. And with a birdie, that could be a, you know, it's flipping the lead. Oh, that's a nice little low angle he had there. He got his down there, so that low gap was not that much of a problem. He got it so far down there. And then Corey with a great drive. He's jump putting his. Wow, so so that blasted through the corner of you that tree. You were kidding. Wow. It just Ooh. got caught up a little bit there. He wanted to give the eagle. He wanted it. Yeah, definitely wanted the eagle. He's going to have a little bit of a tester coming back. 
Oh my goodness. So Chris Chris is gonna tap in a double. Yeah. That's um rare. I mean in the last coverage we had, Chris had a double. That's really been his only two mistakes is so far just like that. Two doubles. It looks like Corey is gonna be having part of the lead. Will Noah also have part of the lead? Well, first is Zach to get to nine down. Yep, but that's there's a birdie. All right, so Noah was even inside of that. Uh, I'm gonna say we're gonna have uh, two two guys tied up at the top here. I mean, Noah still got to take the putt, but I have confidence in Noah here. We're gonna be able to witness something special here, Noah. You know, I don't believe he has any A tier wins yet in his mm -hmm. disc golf uh, young career. Yeah. So you know, Noah's only 20 years old, so new to fairly new to disc golf. You know, he handled that puck great, so he's got the lead tied with Corey here now. Will he be able to keep his composure coming into the final stretch here? The holes get nasty. The OB gets tight. The wind picks up. There's not trees to block most of the holes, so he's going to need to take it slow, shot by shot, and we're going to see what we got here. Uh, yeah. no, two, two players here, Corey Ellis and Noah, 11 down. Chris back down to 10, and Zach one behind him, so... We'd like to thank our coverage sponsor again for this and our drone sponsor. Thanks for helping make this happen. Hole 11 is a par four, 458 feet. We have an OB line on the right, OB line on the left. Uh, you can tell the more visible line on the left, but the right is the tree line. It's uh, the actual center trunks and it shoots around to the tall grass. Uh, this hole is not very long, but it does play fairly steep uphill and this is the windiest stretch of the course. Yeah, distance isn't a factor off this tee shot. It's just keep it in bounds. Make yourself have an easy approach. Nobody's three in this, or nobody's two in this one today. The winds are too high. Corey's going to give it a good, see, he tried to bite off a lot there, and he might get lucky and stay in bounds. Nope. Uh, no. So it, maybe the OB was off quite a bit more off the tree this year. Uh, I, I try to stay far away from that OB line. Yeah, that's tough. You don't want to... Yeah, you don't want to go wide. It's a really easy three if you just play chip-chip, so... Yeah. And then you see Zach kind of playing up the middle, and he's going to get very little skip. It it dips down here, so I, I feel like most, of, most wide rim drivers kind of get a check into the middle. That was a great shot by Zach. Yeah, and that's the side of the fairway to miss on, if you ask me. Because if you go OB there, you've traveled, your disc has traveled the majority of its flight. Oh, see, this this is that's, this is rough here. Oh, come on, no. come on back in bounds. No, yeah, we're going to see the same Noah thing. Noah and Corey both. You know, and think about Noah and Co Corey there. They at least traveled quite a bit of ways off that before. They, they weren't wide the entire flight. But, this is true, this is true. But they're still going to be losing possibly 100 feet of the flight. And so. they're going to have to play with the tree in their way there, too. Right. Versus the left side's wide open. Cor Chris just licking his chops after he gave away the lead on the previous hole and mm. sees both the leaders throw OB. So yeah, he knows it's time to strike. You know, he knows he can get a birdie here, and they have to save. Well, I mean, I guess when you got a forehand like Noah, it's, the trees aren't a problem there. Easy. Yeah. Well, I yeah. shouldn't say easy, but he made it look easy. You see that flag's whipping. Yep. Yeah, I mean, Noah's got a uh, chance for par, so he can still hold some of that lead. Playing it high and wide. It's easy to control the distance that way, so Chris making it look easy as well. Yeah, I think we're going to see a birdie from Chris there. Oh, no. See, can... Uh, can Corey oh, get Corey up and down just here? Corey sawed it off a little much. Ooh, Stay. Check, Stay. check. Okay, good check, good check. He's still got a chance for par. That was a very fortunate break to check there because yeah. two OBs on hole 11 is not what not what you want. Uh, felon from Zach. Oh, that's wide. No. Wow, it's going to bounce, but it checked. Okay, okay. You, I think the wind's kind of uh, blowing that, against that flight. So yeah, Not his best there, but hopefully he's, his putter's nice and warm. Corey for par. That's in. Good par there, Corey. You know, you, you hate to throw it OB off the tee there, but it's it's nice to to get the par from it. You know, not not leave up with a bogey. 
Yeah, like I said, nobody's eagle in this one today, so just one stroke loss, minimize the damage there, cauterize the wounds. Yeah, whole that's no again for par. Hole eleven played point zero eight over par. Wow. So quite a bit of birdies, but just just a little bit more on the bogey side. I think that comes with some higher numbers being yeah, in that's here. That's a little surprising to me. I mean, I guess yeah, I could see a few select players probably yeah, took a goose egg on this hole. Yeah, you know, if you, if you take multiple OBs, I mean, not a goose egg, you, a snowman, it can definitely sorry. move that uh, that stat up. Yeah, so. that's that's uh, it's definitely this is the one of the easier par fours on the course. So how many birdies were in that one? It's quite a bit. Uh, I think a quarter, at least over quarter of the field. Hole 12, this one is also riddled with OB. All the long grass has got a painted line at its base. It's windy here as well. As you see the drone, they must have had a calm day coming through here. It looks nice and nice and still, but high numbers could be had on this one too if you're not careful. It's a distance controls type shot. You can go left or right of the tree. The drone went to the left. Most players, I shouldn't say most, but a lot of players play to the right. Don't throw it OB. I don't think we're going to see any sidearms on this one. Hole 12 here plays as the, uh, the fifth easiest hole. It uh, There is OB on all the tall grass, so if you throw it down the middle, you should walk away with a birdie. But, you know, any kind of skip or a little bit of an errant shot. Yeah, The wind, it looks like a prevailing tailwind, so that negates some of the challenge from the hole. Corey getting a decent kick off that tree. Leave himself a tailwind putt. Yeah, you can see the grass in the back. It definitely swirls off this hill. And uh, it'll swirl on the next few holes. So you can switch from head to tail to cross yeah. all within in a box order. Then it gave it the height there from Zach. Tailwind let it drop immediately out of the hand. Noah going to the right side with a look to be a devil hawk. Yeah, yep. that's uh, that's parked. That's how it's done. Yeah. That disc is nice and slow. You can still throw it hard and trust it. Well, that shot, Noah can definitely walk away that he's at least holding some of the lead. Corey for birdie. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Corey uh, definitely isn't going to be happy about that. Memory right. of a goldfish, that's what I always say. Yeah. Hopefully you can just... He, he's made so many putts that he'll just be able to clear it. Yeah, I mean, it seemed like they had a hard tell when he probably expected it to drop. Yeah. And, uh, you know, he didn't do anything to it, so... He throws so darn hard. Yeah. And then Noah here, probably licking his chops. He's like, wow, I can get myself in position here. I tie up uh, Chris there into that is. lead. Yep. Chris and Noah now tied for the lead. Corey just left that one a little high. It's a close race at the, at the top here. It is. Got a lot of good companies, a lot of good people helping make this tournament and production possible. Yeah, we'd like to thank the great courses of South Carolina again for helping with this coverage. Hole 13, par 3, 273 feet. It's uphill, OB, tall grass left and right. You have a bit of a gap to hit at the beginning, but it plays very steep uphill. I'm going to say most of these guys are going to throw a fairway driver try to hit the hill in front of the basket and get that skip up, not really giving it a lot of air time because of this wind can drag the shot left and right here. 273 feet is what it says, but it plays more like 350. Yeah, just like you said, the miss is just into the hillside. You don't want to give it the chance to go OB. Yeah, you don't really want to throw a flippy oh, disc either. Ooh. Oh, maybe. Ooh, what's he going to give him? That's close. Red. 
Hmm. Well, he's going to have a putt for par up on there, but All right. the slope is... This uh, is Noah's moment right here. This is. This is on, definitely Noah. the moment. All you got, you don't, man, just put it close, kid. We think Flippy Draco found a Noah. That's definitely what he's throwing. Oh, that looks too turnt. Oh, no. Yeah. This is the thing is like, you don't really want to get that turn on it because that tall, that tall grass is quick and you're going uphill. And this is a hard hole. Man, it's, but, there's no, nothing it's else to say. Hole. On there, you you know? hate it's, to see it happen, but you know. Yeah. He's maybe he just there. maybe he just rushed himself a little there. He saw he saw Chris went OB. He I guarantee he knows where he stands here. It's tied for the lead, so his miss was a little more more worse than Chris's. Chris could still say par from where he's at. Wow, so. and Corey Corey misses it a little right and kind of gets the what well, yeah. seems like the bush, but he's that, pinned high. Yeah, he's gonna like that actually. Yeah, I mean that was probably a little more right than he wanted, but he's gonna love where it's at. Kind of surprised Zach went forehand here. Yeah, I I am too. Uh, maybe it was the deep tree, the deep tree bush, the real tall ones that uh, he was worried about with the the backhand. I don't know. He's gonna be right next to Chris. Both could save oh, par have, from there. We have three out of bounds oh, on the lead sit. card here. Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. I know with a good run with yeah. the forehand from the bottom. Chris with a chance for par. Uh. I guess circle's edge, maybe. Oh, tickled. Just a little tickle. Well, that's going to solidify Chris and Noah here going to 11 under. Yeah, Corey might and join Corey, that club. Corey might be uh, doing a little switch off with them. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, a little switch off. You're right, you're right. Yeah, because right. Corey could gain a stroke, and you know these other two gentlemen are going to lose one. That was a great par from Zach. Great par. Yeah, good save. You know, if you're going to throw it OB, try to throw it OB as close to that, like, pin high as you can because nobody wants that uphill. <laughs> yeah. You can see how swirly all this grass is going. Yep, and like that, Corey is yeah, taking the lead. jammed that thing in there. Yeah, you see how the wind, you got to. Yeah, he said, I don't want to play the wind. I'm just going to play through it. Yeah, I mean, you can see the grass. The grass tells it all. This hole goes up to the top of a ridge where multiple holes kind of collide. Yeah, that's where 16 is at. Uh, you know, 14's T's up there, 16's there, 17's T's up there. So it's a very windy top of the hill. It's like the high point. Yeah, there's also the airport right next to this place. So a lot of open fields, a lot of sp a lot of a lot of wind just because of the openness. Yeah, I mean, this is there's a massive baseball complex right beside this course at the same park. So there's not a lot to stop it out in these field holes. Yeah. So yeah, wow, we got. Uh, Two bogeys, a par save, and a birdie, and a new leader, Corey Ellis. Corey Ellis coming in, playing pretty solid. All these players, a couple blemishes on the card, though. You know, I don't know what the course record is out here. Well, we this is we're gonna find a course record because there's a new course this year. So yeah, downhill, hole 14. This one is kind of a must get, but it's challenging. It's uh. It's, People play straight where the camera is going right now, or people play highs around the right. I I like the straight route, I think just because I feel like I can minimize the factor of the wind, just punching it through the wind lower and direct. But it's a little easier just to let the disc work on the right side. Looks like Corey's got a slow putter in his hand, and I'm going to say he's going straight up the gut. Yeah, I would definitely agree with you. Yeah, a lot of hyzer. That's Corey's oh, forte yeah, that's a right flippy there. flippy disc. Look at it just Ooh. pan the whole wow. time, nearly hitting Conrad on the catch cam. Good moves there, Conrad. Yeah. Yep, jawbreaker roach. I love it. Yeah, you got two routes here up the middle. It looks like Chris is going to up for the up the middle as well. The out wide hyzer is a bit more on the Plinko side, but it is an easier gap to hit. On the you know main half of the fairway. That's a good shot, just a little low, but that's gonna be still some you know, some work left on it. A little it. work, little work. Oh, the lefty play. This is I. Yeah, I he's I going wide. Have never seen this before. Um, I'm thinking that's probably gonna be right. Yeah, it's a little right, but I don't see what that hit. So he may have a putt. He may just be completely blocked. Going a little past this basket and surrounding the basket are all these trees that 
can make putts very difficult. You can be inside the circle and not have anything. That was a gateway prophecy no through, and it just turned over a hair yeah. too much. Yeah, that's that's common with the backhand uh, down the middle. You can see that turning over, or you can see one fading out. Yeah, a rule of thumb that a lot of disc golfers use is when you're throwing downhill, the discs tend to act slightly more understable, and when you're throwing uphill, the discs tend to act more overstable. So that, that factor Noah. there could have... Oh, Noah... Wow, you can see what what you have if you're if you're off to the side. There's it's a lot uh, not a lot. In this bone, Anheuser putt's gonna be tricky. Oh. Mm. Looks like. Oh. Come on, Noah, you gotta make that one. Yeah, you can see his his out from in there oh. was very tough. Not a lot of options. No. Chris uh, striking metal, but not making from what looked to be about thirty five. Zach looks to be just inside of that, but very tight window here. Let's send it down the middle. That's cash. Oh, oh, oh my God. wow. Just a little high, a little right. And, uh, yeah, the spin just kind of pushed it out. Man, that's a, that's a strong putt. Yeah, it's definitely strong. But kind of got to when you have the gap. And Corey, Corey missing from his... Would seem to be 25 foot. Noah for bogey. All right, Noah. You gotta, you gotta take the time here. Minimize the damage. Don't know why they gave him the out of bounds logo there, but um, yeah, that was a double bogey there. Uh, Corey tapped out his par. Man. Probably doesn't feel so bad being that uh, he had not lost the lead with the par. Uh, being he also had a putt for birdie, so moves on to another day. Chris taking par, still one off the lead. And uh, Zach here tapping out his, <laughs> and he's now tied up with Noah. Yeah, Noah with that double puts him down. I believe that's three down on the round. He's going to want The last couple holes here are all birdieable. But the danger comes into play quick, so he's gonna wanna just, he needs to come in these last holes with a level head. That's all I can say. Yeah. Played against sports, thank you. Great courses of South Carolina, thank you. Hole 15, this is the par five that we've been talking about. This one is, you can, you can equal this hole with a really good tee shot. But birdie is good all day. Get past that initial, Get th there's a belt of trees we just drove through that if you get past or near the end of past your second, easy up and down for a four. OB on the left side, and the name of the game is going to be just a simple hyzer off the tee. Yeah, this one is you're going to be pushing your distance driver at the right side of the woods like Corey is, and then getting that push up the fairway. This is really good. This is going to give him a chance to be aggressive if he wants to try to get the eagle. But from where Corey's at, it's it's more than 450 feet to the pin. So, you know, no easy task for the eagle. Lots of trees in between, but great tee. That's money. Yeah, Zach's, that's pushing. I never knew Zach had such a darn good forehand. Yeah, you can't sleep on it. No, that was really good. And Zach is in the ideal landing position if you really just won't want the bird but where he's at being left-handed he can go to his backhand and he might be able to attack for eagle that'd be something he could i could see him i think from I, that angle he can really push the tall grass fade before the tall grass and have a chance so maybe chris, we'll get to see him have a chance i love chris's run up he gets a good run up Ooh. light feet he was a a kicker so his footwork is immaculate yeah it was an early kick though or early tree hit it was a you got a little inside there. Yeah, a little bit. Just if a you little. Notice with Zach and Corey, they went wide, and wide is what you need because that corner comes quick and stays there the whole time. So it kind of pushes forward. Deep breath out of Noah gets him a great tee shot. That's his Draco right there. Yeah, that's Beat money. the corner. He's up there with Zach. All right, so Chris took that corner. He's still early. He's going to be. Trying to just get a shot to be able to play on to the yeah. second part of the fairway. You can see his disc moving 
oh. extremely to the left there, and left is the miss there all day. When you're the more left you are, the better angle you could have attacking like the screen. Zach opt for like a layup. Come on, get it, get it out. Oh of here. yeah, that's great. Ooh. Yeah, he's probably didn't want it to be no, that pushing through a there. Little I mean, he's very a little skinny. He's very glad it got through. You can tell. Well I mean. Well he should be able to get up and down from birdie from there. Oh, he doesn't day. have anything in the way. All day. OB's way left. Like, no, here it looks like he's taking a putter. And that's that's great. That's very good. Yep. Oh, this is double hog? I think so. He'll uh, yeah. probably pick that same disc up again and throw it for the upshot. Yep. Are we just sidearm? Yep. Okay, and you... Oh, it's a roller out of Corey now. Wow. This is yeah. going to be something special. He's look, he's he's salivating for the eagle. Yeah, so you can see there's lanes. There's still trees he has to play with. Um, oh, he no, really no, threw it at no, the no, middle no, trees. No. He's going to regret that. Yeah, that was a greedy play. I, I, mean, I hate to say it. It was, you know... I think he could have got that with the air shot as well. So I, I agree. I mean... Maybe if he just focused more on getting a vertical and not the cut, he would have had better putt. He's a great circle too. So, but I don't know. Chris with a great third shot, he'll still be able to save birdie from there. Yeah, I mean this is the thing is even if you get early a second shot into those cluster of trees, that still keeps you salvaging a birdie. A little, a little much out of Noah, but he's still gonna have an opportunity here. Here's Zach for his third throw. I'm thinking this is a harp here. Harper Justice. Uh, mm -hmm. That's going to be about 20 feet. And to get up and down, trying to save his par. Ooh. It's got to be his zone. Yep. So it didn't go too far. You can see it right in front of Noah. Here's Noah for birdie. Great. Cashed. Game. Good bounce back, yeah, Noah, it. after the double. Keeping composure. Yeah, and Chris just scrambled the birdie the whole way. Like, that was great. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it shows that as long as you get that second shot into the cluster of trees yeah. and you don't get greedy here, birdie is there. It's 790 feet. It's a par five. The first 450 of it, you blast the driver. So... You know, the back end of it is not that far. Yeah. You know, you can really go driver, putter, putter, and, and play a pretty, uh, take the risk out. Yeah, there were a lot of high scores taken on this hole, though. Let's not forget that. The yeah. hole, what are we averaging on this one, AJ? Uh, this is, what's hole 15? 15 was .39 over par, so it was, it was, uh, you know, there were some high numbers taken. There's a lot of woods. There are, is some OB at the end of it, but... Now, this hole right here, I'm going to break this one down. This one right here, you can get aggressive or you can just play it safe. If you're playing it safe, this is the landing zone. Right in the shade of that tree, a little bit past it. You could play the forehand up towards the alternate basket, but as we approach this cluster of trees... We'll see that it's pretty much an island green. Well, not an island green, but the circle's worth of green here. Uh, players with big forehands are going to play the forehand over the left side. But I guarantee we're going to see a couple layups. That's all I can say about that. It's windy today. Chris is going FX2 here. Uh, seems like he's going to be turning one. Yeah, it's only 440 feet, so every player on this card could get there. It's not a matter of distance. It's a matter of... See, it's keeping the bit, the disc in bounds. Yeah, I mean, I laid this one up. Wasn't we had a kind of a tough win during practice and in, in play. Uh, I didn't see it being worth the risk, but if you have it, like yeah, this, if I had this left arm. It's you know, good for Zach on this hole. Being the lefty, he could really just trust the hyzer on the backhand side. But even there, is a pretty far. I mean, four hundred and forty feet isn't. Yeah, necessarily got, a short distance but you have to throw it over the tall grass so it is a nose up the entire time shot so Noah uh, that look, looks like it come on back in yeah that's, great a shot. that's a layup for Noah yeah that's a great shot that's a risky layup though <laughs> that's a risky I don't know why he just went layup short but hey that's all right hey it's in, inbounds is inbounds yeah inbounds you is know? inbounds but you can a, see Corey just opting for a short run up is he going for it with that short of a run-up? Uh, dude, that, that, it looks like he's going for it. 
Wow, he's there. It's not as he wow. going for it. He's there. Man, look, Cor- look. Oh. And, and look, he's OB. See, this is, again, why, in my opinion, it's a layup hole. You know, it's yeah. there's so much OB. It's, it's just it's a sucker shot. That's tough. That was a great shot. I mean, Corey. it is. It's it's a fantastic birdie if you have it, if you got the forehand the whole way. But it, it is an Good absolute layup. elite distance forehand shot. Yeah. Um, Tristan Tanner got it with the forehand today, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I witnessed uh, Austin Hannum get it as well. Nice. So there were only four birdies on the day, birdie twos. That was Austin Hannum, Jake Wolf, Tristan Tanner, and William Hanu. And Austin Ta- Austin Hannum and Tristan Tanner are known as some of the biggest forehands on tour. Yeah, so, tour you know, it's it's if you got it, you got it. Yeah. If you don't got it, well, the, the wind was helping. Great. It wasn't a it was a tailwind for these players. Corey's yeah. through it so far. He has a headwind putt, wow. and he's gonna take his oh a little roll. Fine, a little f- easy four. Yeah, it's that's boog, but it's better you know. than a six. Yeah, definitely better. Um, so. Yeah, Zach here for par. Oh, sorry, Zach here for bogey because Zach had an OB off the tee. Yeah, it's just one of those things. If you got it, you might as well full blast it. But you know, a two or four is very uh, likely. Yeah, three is a good score in this hole. This is still uphill. You know, basket is above above his head there for Corey so yeah it's crazy you see out of the lead card a par taking a stroke on all members of the lead card so Noah electing for I guess what we could call a layup is going to be the only player who didn't go for it and the only player to to not go over par yeah I mean that's what this that's how it is I think this is kind of in the sucker hole range because of how tight the OB is it, it makes you want to go for it because it is an epic birdie you know, it's it's one of those things like we've only had four twos on it on yeah. the on this day. Out so of field of fifty players. So, so it's you know you want to be as you want to get it you want it to it but you know those bogeys it brought the field closer to it. You know you got the leaders at eleven. Noah is back back in contention again at ten. Yeah, so you can see the the group here has slowed down a little bit as the round has progressed. We're coming into the final two holes and there are some of the harder ones. This one is a beast of a hole, 525. They moved the tee pad back, so this is a new location. I mean, I'm gonna be surprised. The wind wasn't a headwind, so some of these players will go for this. I assume Corey being one of the furthest throwers out there, he will go for this, but three is good. Four is okay. You, you, you scrambled after four, but you don't wanna take anything higher than that. Two is definitely doable. Yeah, Noah over there, he was going for the layup. Uh, it looks like the win was the same for what they had to what we had. We had a, and it seems like for them, a strong right to left. It was very hard to lay up. If you threw a right-handed backhand, it just, you swung it. You swung couldn't it. get it in bounds. You'd have to throw a forehand against the wind. So it was great for the running. We're seeing Chris is going for it. I mean, he's playing for that win to really drag it back oh, across the fairway. This is absolutely perfect. Nice shot from Chris. Misses the rock. This is a double island hole. So nice. at the rocks are the OB line up at the deep island. The tall grass lines the OB on the short island. The walkway in between is not a part of it. If the players do not make it inbounds or over inbounds at any point, they go to the short tee, which is still 425. So if nice. a player throws it over and inbounds and goes OB, they can take it where it last goes. Was Zach inbounds. played that layup nice and low, very low layup, not a lot of energy. The wind was not much of a factor. Yeah, it still looked like he was close up to the tall grass on the left. Core going very wide. He threw that one up to the heavens. Yeah, I mean, this is actually kind of a smart play. If he crosses over the green at the basket and goes OB, he didn't go OB. He's actually nice. putting for eagle. But if he did, he would putt. He would be putting for three on the green. Yeah, that was a sweet shot. So Jeez. if you have the distance and you have the risk, and you're okay with the risk, you might as well go for it. Come on, Noah. Oh, yeah. Look, Great look, shot. Noah hated it. And now he's, he's, he's close. Yeah, he's parked. I don't, I don't think he knew how close that was out of the hands. Uh, here's a justice from Zach. Oh, look chip shot. Uh, rise? There you go. Perfect. 
Yeah, this tall grass is uh, is difficult because it, it is. Yeah, you'd like to be able you know, to throw it low, but you gotta get it high. Yeah, letting you, the the bottom of the plate, of know, the flight plate, get exposed to the wind. The Chris grass is here. you know four feet or so. This is, uh, this is gonna be a big putt. Eagle. Wow, the wow. Anheuser putt. You can see the flag. I think he did the Anheuser so it didn't drag his putt left. Like wow. if you put any Heiser on yeah. it and expose that a underside. Little right to left went from there with the Anheuser. The wind will push the disc down, yeah. making it drop. So he played a great height yeah. on that. Wind just smacked that flight plate Season right into vet. the basket. That was Season vet. You know, it looked like a fluttery putt, but that was exactly what he wanted. All right, Corey here. He's probably going to try to beam this. And he did. Oh, yeah. That's Wow, two eagles on the day. Two eagles on the card. And actually, this is the two eagles on the day were this card alone. So Nobody else? Nobody else. Wow. Only Chris Dickerson and Corey Ellis. So, I was afraid. I didn't want to go for it. I was too afraid. Yeah, you know, we got up here. It was a great wind. You know, should have. If you got the distance, you got to go for it. Yeah. But, um, you know, if I had any takeaway from my day, I was going for 17. <laughs> So, all right, Zach here. He's gonna, he's putting for birdie three. Cashed. Give him them double digits. Zach yep. moving down to ten down now. Moving to ten. This four is four down on the round. Noah's gonna be putting to keep pace with Zach here at ten. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's that's rough, you know. Maybe Noah, just, Noah definitely after all that work, he he's gotta be a bit fresher. Sometimes to walk with the you just gotta two tears in a bucket. You just gotta forget it. Yep. Can't can't let those things get to you. Well, like that, we have two guys tied up at the top. Thank you, Wings uh, Grill, for helping make this production possible. We got hole 18. This is a par four with OB left and right. It's a dog leg to the right, up a hill on the, the where the basket sits on a berm. The OB is just outside the circle to the left towards the basket. So these players here, you gotta have a really far drive to make the second shot easy. We, my car witnessed something special when we played. We saw the two, the only two taken on this hole. So it is possible. Yep. Evan Bamford threw it in from. What seems to be 400 feet. Yeah, it was a bomb. It was yeah. an incredible shot. In the past, this one has been listed as a par five, but because it was a three, oh, look at that felt angle. too easy. Um, they they changed the par to a four. So that was an incredible shot from Chris. That 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 the stability and the angle there fought the wind great. That it was is a, a smash. It was a sh stiff right left to wind. That's why Corey's opting for the forehand here, so he can keep the top of the disc towards the wind and not letting it lift yeah and, and to be honest the, being over there on that left side like Corey's kind of pushing uh it gives you a wider angle to attack your second shot Definitely. Um, and it, it really pushes that ob into less of the equation and more play have you play against the hill whereas Chris is going to have to throw more at that OB line. Yeah, to he's going to have a touchier shot for sure. Yep. And Zach just going up here to bomb. This, this is... looks like a little early. There is a Mando on the right side, and it's going to catch the pavement. Mm. Yeah, that's OB. definitely OB. Yep. OB playing the road and beyond. There's no line off of it, just the road itself. And there is the Mando in play, so his next shot's going to be tough. Uh, Noah pushing. Oh, that's right next to that Mando. Yeah, you can we see were the Mando about. sign right. Right where the car is passing. So, yeah, Noah doesn't have to play with that Mando. Flirting but with the Mando off the tee, though. That was a good drive. Zach's got to play with it, and I'm sure he's you know would have rather been able to play down the road instead. In the past, you could play down the road here, whereas Zach's... Yeah, that's just a little... Oh, he's playing safe. Zach realizes that, you know... I don't think he could have done much no. any, anything else beside that because of the Mando. He wasn't going to get a birdie from there. No way. No. I mean, he had the OB, so he's... Uh, Trying to salvage, you know, what he can out of his round. Corey pulled it. Early release. But it's still hysering. Uh, it's Plinko and out of the tree. Uh, that's going to be in bounds. Yeah. Those are scary. He's I, he's going to jump out that. I know Corey's got such a strong jump up. But that's one of those putts where it's like you almost would prefer airballing. Because any miss from there, 
Rolling down the hill. Yeah, this one, the basket's right on the edge. Oh, oh no. no. Okay. Well. Okay. Uh, that was... Inbounds. Inbounds. Yeah, inbounds. If, he was, if he missed high there, he was liable to go out of, beat, uh, out of bounds. Yeah. So it was mean, a good miss. Missed the sign, too. You know, that was... <laughs> that could have been bad. Wow. Chris, Chris here. Chris making this... That one look easy. Wow. Yeah, that that is... That's very good. That's... Birdie off. Easy birdie. Yeah, that stable justice. He catches the uphill Ooh. just so it takes the energy of the way of the day. Good action off that basket. Caught a birdie anyways. Wow. Um, yeah, so we have Corey here stabbing from what feels to be like 60. Oh, just a standstill. I'm sorry. Oh. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> he liked it. Okay. Noah for birdie. He's going to go for it. <sighs> yeah, that was... You, f you see yeah. that flag moving? That's just... You don't want to miss low on that putt, but... That wind now was he's straight got a dragging sketchy, up. Sketchy putt here. Sit. Okay, that's fine. That's a five. Yeah, you know, it yeah. wasn't an eight. <laughs> that's all I got to say about that. Right. I mean, that's a – being there, you know, maybe that's – well, you know, just – a good miss. Some to lay up. It's not but, how you uh, want to end your round. Yeah. He'll have lots to take away, a lot of adjustments to make, but Let's, he's uh, not going to make those adjustments here at Tiger River because we've got a whole other long track coming at you guys next. It's a 27-hole course, Holston Creek. We're going to have a totally different feature card for you guys. But rounding out this one, we had Chris Dickerson shooting a pretty hot round at, well, he's sitting at 14 down. That's six down on the day. Corey, Corey Ellis, shot a heater as well. You know? Yeah, Corey shot real good. He uh, made that nice birdie at the, sorry, eagle on 17 there. Him and Corey, or Chris both, both saw a couple woes, a couple OB strokes they wish they didn't have. But... They'll both be on the lead card come Sunday, so it's yeah. going to be a tight battle. Yeah, so on the lead card in the next round, we're going to have Chris Dickerson, Corey Ellis, Evan Scott, the local, and Joel Freeman. So catch us at Holston for round three. It's going to be 27 holes. Yeah, long one, and it's also Halloween, so maybe we'll see a couple uh, couple, couple people in costume for you guys. So Yeah, so yeah, thank, thanks for for watching. We, uh, thanks for all the sponsors that, for this coverage that made this happen. So. Thank you, Felix. Thank you, Conrad. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, all the Patreon members. Can't thank you enough. And coming at you again for the third round, check out the link. Yeah. We'll see you at Holston.